In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build forecast for paid search campaigns so you can accurately predict how much traffic and sales a prospect can get from investing in paid search. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using AI, chat, GPT in less than five minutes. Let's get into it. Now I'm gonna be running you through this Notion document, which is a step-by-step -step process for how to do this. If you want access to this, just drop me a comment below and I'll make sure to get you the link so you can check it out for yourself. But the reason why this is so important is because if you're an agency or a consultant and you wanna sell paid search services, the best way to do that is to anchor the expected result against the cost. And this is where a lot of agencies and consultants struggle. They're not able to fully help a prospect understand the true impact of what their services can be. And then this leads to issues with pricing and pushback on pricing and you cost too much and there's undercut with pricing. No, all you have to be able to do is show exactly how much traffic and sales they can get as a result of your services. Got another video on SEO, but this one is specifically for paid search. So I'm gonna be running you through this process using a lead that I actually have a call for coming up in the next 30 minutes that I have to run this for. It's for an attorney website, they're here in Miami. And the, the fun thing about this too is that they wanna do this in Spanish first. And uh, mi español es, no es muy bueno. So I'm gonna use ChatGPT to help me translate and speed up this process to still build the forecast and give them accurate predictions. So the first thing that we need to do is we just need to understand what the main keyword is or the general keywords, right? So most attorney websites are pretty straightforward. These are going to be all of the keywords here that they're going to want to target. It's just going to be modified by location. So they're only in Miami. They only want to target Miami, South Florida, the cities within Miami, etc. And they're doing personal injury. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this main keyword here, head over to Google, and this is just going to be Miami personal injury attorney. So that's going to be the main keyword here. And what you're going to notice here is this is going to trigger a bunch of ads. So I'm going to take the top ad that I see here. I'm just going to take the root domain here, copy it. I'm going to come over here to a tool like Ahrefs, which is great because what this will allow me to do is this will allow me to spy on and steal the keywords. So I'm going to come over here to paid search and I'm going to click on keywords. Now, they're only doing nine here. There's only nine different keywords that they're bidding on here. But essentially what this allows me to do is it allows me to understand what keywords that they're currently bidding on. And we can keep going through this process. We can switch up the keywords in Google. We can go back uh, and instead of personal injury attorneys, we can do something like parks and attorneys. And we just keep going through and we keep grabbing the websites that are advertising against these keywords. And we can just keep dropping them here into Ahrefs. So what we want to do is I want to take these and I want to export these. So I'm just gonna export these keywords and now I'm just gonna leave them down here for, for a moment. So again, I recommend that you go through this a couple of times using a couple different keywords. Really again, depending on how many different keywords that they're targeting here, you know, you could go through and do this for every single one, but you don't have to. Uh, and again, the reason why we wanna do this is because if we can steal the keywords, this gives us a huge leg up on keyword research because especially a lot of the, the, the good law firms are only gonna be bidding on keywords that they know are profitable. So we're drastically speeding up this keyword research process to understand the keywords that are valuable to them. And what we're gonna do with these keywords, we're gonna take them eventually and we're gonna put them into Google Keyword Planner so we can get the volume and we can get the cost per click and then build an accurate forecast based on that. But still, there's more that we can do. And this is how we can use ChatGPT to really speed this up. So all you gotta do here is take this exact prompt here. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna come over here to ChatGPT. I'm gonna paste it in and I'm gonna take the main keyword here again, right? So we'll call this car accident attorney and I'm gonna paste it in. What you could see it doing is it's taking, it's just flushing out more similar synonym keywords that we can use to do keyword research here. So then I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna take this prompt again. All these are here prompts that we have done for you. Come back over here and you do 30 more. So now, of course, it's gonna spit out 30 more keywords. What this is showing us here is only Miami. So what you have to understand is that when it comes to search, paid search, organic search is that every city and every state is gonna be a little bit different. So we gotta do a little bit more research here. So I live in Miami, so I know Miami very well. And what I also know is Miami is a very big city made up of other sub cities. There's Coral Gables, there's South Beach, there's Miami Beach, there's downtown, there's Brickell. These are all different little pockets with heavy populations. So what we can do is I like to go to, back to Google here and type in something like this most populous areas of Miami. And now this is going to depend again, heavily on where 
client is located. So the one that you had before I had Georgia, that was a state because that attorney was targeting everywhere in Georgia. Uh, it could be in the Southeast region. Uh, instead of populist too, you could also do something like wealthiest, right? If you want to target areas or zip codes that uh, have the highest, you know, wealth areas. So when I click on this article here, what it's going to do is it's going to tell me the different areas. So I can take these right south of fifth, blah, 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 Fisher Island, Coral Gables is one of them. And I'm going to come back here. Let's take a look at a prompt and I'm going to ask chat GPT to then take the keywords that they have already listed, right? So I have four, 50 keywords listed or 40 keywords listed here above. Now it's just going to spit out these keywords, it's basically just going to kind of like a Google Sheets or Excel file here. It's going to spit these back out and it's just going to change the text here. So I'm just going to let this load. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop open Keyword Planner while this is loading here. I'm going to have it translate this list into Spanish for me because this attorney was very adamant that they want to target Spanish keywords first. Perfect. So now it's giving me all the Spanish keywords. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take all these keywords. I'm going to head over to Keyword Planner. I'm going to go to Get Volume Forecast. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file that we took from Ahrefs, right? So I'm going to drop that in here, upload those keywords. And again, what you can see here is it's going to pull through all the keywords, the monthly searches, the competition and the bids, right? And again, the more of these files that you get from Ahrefs, the more of these will populate as well. That's why I recommend doing this, you know, three to eight times, depending on the size of the campaign that you're going to run. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these keywords and I'm going to paste them here. Car accident lawyers. Grab all these, paste them in, grab all these, paste them in. I'm going to grab all the Spanish ones now and I am going to paste them in. And then I'm just going to click save. Okay. So sometimes these are over the limit. I'm just going to remove those keywords. I'm going to paste them in. Now, the next thing you do is you're going to open this template that we built here. Just make a copy of it. And now we're going to paste in all this data from here. So we're just going to export this. I'm going to export this to Google Sheets, download it, open the sheet. And just one thing that we have to do, you just highlight column D. It's a little bit weird. I don't know why it does this, but we just change it to number and then we're going to close those in because if you don't do that, then it's not going to work. So now I'm going to copy this whole thing. And in the template here in the data group one, I'm just going to paste them in. And then I'm going to come over here to calcs tab. So now over here in the calculations tab, what this does is it aggregates everything for me. So what we can do here too, is just filter here, A to Z, Z to A, get all the top searches one. What you're gonna notice is that a lot of these keywords um, don't pull through volume and that's fine. It doesn't mean that there's absolutely no volume for them. So the table down here is gonna pull through all the keywords. You'll see the searches, the clicks. This is gonna be based on a click through rate, which we'll talk about in a second, the bid, the average. So it just cleans up this data a lot to something much more manageable. What you're gonna notice is that there's not a ton of, about 60% of the searches usually don't have volume. That's fine, that's not unnormal. It doesn't mean that there's no clicks for it. It just means that the, the tools and picking it up. But essentially what we're doing here is we're using this as a means to communicate with the prospect what the potential is for running this campaign. So just on these keywords alone, the total monthly search volume that sums this up about 8,000, the ad click through rate, you can edit this. We usually use about a 4% click through rate, but if you change this right to 2%, it changes the number of clicks underneath. I like to use 4%. So the total monthly clicks or traffic that they're going to get is 322. The total monthly ad cost is going to be $13,000 based on for 32, 322 clicks, $13,000. Very expensive. It's personal as your keywords. That's just how it works. The ad conversion rates, we're saying, okay, after they've clicked and gotten a landing page, what's going to be the conversion? conversion rate on the landing page, we like to use around 10%. So that means they're going to get about 32 monthly conversions at about $426 each. Now this again becomes a communication and conversation point with the prospect. What we like to do is we like to go to them and say, okay, look at this is what you're going to be paying per cost per conversion. Is this something that you can afford? What does your sales process look like? What does your sales close rate look like? Um, you know, of if you have 10 calls, right, it's going to cost you about 4,200 bucks. How many of those are you going to close? and how many of those are gonna turn into paying customers and what is the average paying customer. This helps them understand basically, again, what the forecast for this paid search campaign looks like and how much they can afford to pay and what they can afford to pay us. Now, of course, what we can also do here is we can go through and we can look at the more expensive ones. The average bids here, right, are gonna be extremely high, $156 for the average bid there. Um, again, this is taking the, the mid uh, between the low and the high. Um, so we can go through these and we clean these up based on 
the cost per click, the ones that are incredibly expensive. Uh, and again, now what we can also do is just more keep more and more research to dig into these and drill these down if these numbers don't make sense. But that's it. That's how to build a full projection for paid search using AI, using the data and giving you a really powerful sales tool to help you close more deals and also negotiate deals and go back and forth and help the prospect understand the process that goes into it, how much it costs, how the research fits into it and how you can adjust these bids and these you know different targeting strategies to lower their costs or to increase conversions. So if you want access to the file that I showed you, the template and also the notion, make sure to drop a comment below this video and I will get you the link and I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.